It's Joe Talks, period. Yeah, quick moment with you. Something for your dawn peace. Dawn peace. So we're going to have more than a quick moment right quick. Just wanted to speak on uh, the situation with Grim Gwen Berry. As you know, she's getting a lot of backlash from a certain demographic of people uh, that don't appreciate the fact that she didn't acknowledge the American flag. Here we go again. White folk. White folk. Please understand something about y'all's country, about y'all's homeland. Please. If any of any white folks watch this, any Caucasians, any Europeans, any Romans, any Italians, anything that is linked to Caucasian in the Caucasus Mountains of Mount Sair, please understand something about America. It is built on dissension. It is built on colonization, also known as basically thievery it is built on murder it is built on rape it is built on the absolute demise of blacks hispanics and native americans you know this so why do you feel some type of way or why do you demonize black folks why do you demonize our entertainers? Why do you demonize our, our athletes and our singers and our, and our people of high profile every time one of us speaks up about the way we truly feel about America and how it's treating us? As if it's not dogging us daily till this very day. To this day! To this day! And my best Dante Wilder. Till this day, this place is still drowning us with travesty, with poverty, with confusion. That's what this place is doing. Till this very day. And every time one of us shows disdain for it on one of our worldwide nationwide platforms if you will you all demonize us you did the same thing to Colin Kaepernick he didn't have a problem with the NFL he didn't claim to have problem with white people he didn't claim to have a problem with anything other than the lack of equality in America amongst blacks and Hispanics and you all demonized him for it he has not been able, to, been able to step foot on a football field since and I and I don't think he really wanted to I know the tryout you know may may perceive him as if he wanted to come back to the NFL but but he didn't he, he didn't he didn't but that that's another topic either way it goes Every time one of us speaks up on one of our major platforms, we get demonized for it. As if America wasn't built on evil. Was this land not pillaged and robbed from Indians who are still to this very day fighting and protesting for their land. There's been bills passed of Asian hate. There are there have been no bills passed on black hate. I'm sorry, was Tulsa, Oklahoma not a very very hateful thing that happened to black people? I'm sorry, it was Rosewood not a very hateful thing that happened to so-called blacks and African Americans? I'm sorry, was, was Tuskegee not a very evil thing 
that happen to black men amongst dealing with the whites, the Caucasians, the Europeans. Dealing with you all. Dealing with Caucasians. Dealing with white people as black people has done nothing for us but cause us confusion. But cause us confusion. You can't convince me otherwise. If 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 Gwen Berry doesn't want to acknowledge that flag, her stance is very valid. If black people prefer only to deal with white people on a professional level, that's a very valid preference. Is it not? Was America not built on slavery? Does America not still run off the cheap labor, labor of blacks, Hispanics, and so-called Native Americans. If every black person in America decided, you know what, fuck this job, America will go under. If black people was like, fuck Amazon, if Hispanics was like, fuck Amazon, if, if blacks and Hispanics was like, fuck McDonald's, fuck Domino's, uh, 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 UPS, FedEx, Walmart, Target. Do you, you understand America goes under? We aren't getting any black hate bills passed. We haven't received any reparations for the work that we have done. For the forced work we have done building this country. We have received nothing but a job. And the only reason we got these jobs is because the powers that be don't want to do this work. Stop the nonsense. You're not going to stop it. But you need to. You're not going to stop it, but you really need to. Black people don't have to like this place. Black people are blessed to endure what we endure of this place. But we don't have to like this place. Black people need to represent for God. We don't need to represent for America. America's never represented for us. America getting mad at us when we express our disdain for the way America has treated us. Why the hell would I want to represent for something that is not, that 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 has no revere for my cause. Please help me understand this. Why would I want to represent a country that has no respect for my cause, has no respect for my ancestors, has no respect for the story upon which me and millions and millions and millions and millions and millions and millions, and millions of other brothers and sisters descend from? Why would you expect Gwen Berry to acknowledge your dumbass flag? Why would you want black people to acknowledge something built on a lie? Because you're the damn devil. That's why. Period. Period. And I'm not going to be, me and many other brothers, we're not going to be the ones afraid to say what's true me and me, me and many other brothers are not going to be the ones to say what's true America hates us for calling out what's wrong with it because it is of the damn devil it is the synagogue of Satan Revelations chapter 2 verse 9 I know about those who say they are Jews and are not. Michael Rappaport, Adam Sandler, people like that. He knows about this place. Obadiah, chapter 1, verse 4. Thou, the, thou though ex exalt themselves as the eagle, 
Exalt means to represent. God knows about this place. He's been telling us about this place. When we going to let it go? Nehemiah chapter 9. And those of Israelite descent stood and separated from the other nations. Separate from this place that don't give a damn about us. Separate from it. Why would you want to why would you be so proud working for something that hates you, working for something that don't do for you? Why? I'm going to wrap it up. I like to give thanks to Gwen Berry. I like to let Gwen, Ms. Ms. Gwen Berry know that me and many other brothers and sisters stand right beside you. And, and, and I pray that many other brothers and sisters take on, this, take on a mighty spirit that you have took on. Because not everyone is, not any, not everyone is just capable. Not, not everyone is blessed enough to tell the truth. To express truth. Thank you, my beautiful sister. Thank you, princess. Thank you. This is Joe Talks, period. Just wanted to have a quick moment with y'all to discuss this topic. And why America hates us when we tell the truth. About what y'all did to us. About what y'all still doing to us. That is evil. That is evil, y'all. This place is evil. Something for y'all dome pieces, man. This place is evil. JTP out.